Dave, in the previous conversation, we kind of touched about the great resignation. So great resignation is happening. Everyone is quitting. They want uh, kind of people are saying, I want in my life things that matters to me. My work wants to matter to me and have to be more alignment between myself and the companies I'm working. And some people started the side hustle project became their full-time job or they started a side hustle project and they want to do that. But what can employers do to attract talent in this chaos, in this great resignation? And we know that one, uh, there's a lot of people are looking for a job. Yeah. Again, I think the great resignation is a function of the time in which we live. People have worked at home. They haven't had social cohesion for two years. And so they think something better may be out there. Mm -hmm. What can a company do? I'm going to boil it down to three things. And this is, a, this is part of increasing your emotional connection to the company. Believe. As a leader and as a company, how do I help you get your values met at my company? So, Meher, you work at a university. You give students counsel. You help them. I think that's part of your value set. My experience with you is you like to help people fulfill their potential. Yes. And the university says, Meher, I can do that for you. Yes. You probably don't want to work in a, a company that doesn't do that. Believe, how do I as a company help you fulfill your values through working at my company? Second, become. How do I help you learn and grow? Growth mindset. How do I help you yeah. become better at what you want to be better at? And third, belong. Yeah. How do I help you feel like you're part of a community? And so check in, build even internet communities. I think if we can build, believe, become, and belong, three criteria, that becomes the essence of the mental health that we've talked about and the employee experience. Yes. And then those employees may not leave. The other thing I'll push before they, well, I could do a whole lot of great resignation. If they leave and they're a good employee, stay in touch. Yeah. Invite them back. I, I think the old world was, if you leave our employment, you're disloyal. We don't trust you. In today's world, if you're a good employee and you leave, we miss you. Yeah. We care about you. And I think the rehiring yes. is going to be one of the real, real sources, rebound hiring, whatever you want to call it, of future talent. Yeah. And, uh, and if I feel that employers should give wings to employees to fly and they can be great ambassadors and bring more talent to their, their previous employers, right? Absolutely. You know, the consulting firm McKinsey, they don't spend money on marketing. What they do is they take former McKinsey employees, the alumni, and they're their clients. Yeah. I mean, that's the, we want you to leave our company feeling good yeah. about your experience here so that you may come back yeah. or you'll be a client. Disney, for example, Disney would say, we're going to hire certain people at Disney. For years, they wouldn't hire anyone with a beard. So you wouldn't get hired at Disney. <laughs> but when you'd interview, they'd want you to have such a good experience that even though you wouldn't get hired, You'd want to come to Disney as a, as, a, as a guest. Yes. I think that's one of the things that's a trick of employers. Let people leave feeling good. Yes. Those are great tips. And I hope employers will implement some of the conversations we had today, Dave. And for the audience watching or listening, tune in next time for another great question with Dave.